Oh! My man! How you doing? Oh, you got the same thing as I got. Yeah. Fuck it. Fuck it. I got that, man. I got the glasses. I got all the stuff. I was like, fuck, I should have brought my fucking glasses, man. So what'd you get me? You got some good? Yeah. Oh man. Well, you ready? It's showtime, man. We're gonna get on. You know, All right. So, are we gonna stay here? We so can. I could just leave them. Yeah, yeah. That's why I didn't want to. I didn't want to make them just uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I want somebody to run off with the car and leave it on. Yeah, yeah. So. Who you telling, man? Now go ahead and tell them your name, man. <laughs> Darnell Mac. Mac right. Muscle Bullies. Ah, that's what you said. That's your name? Yeah. That's a good name, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> My last name is Maca Pinlack, so. Maca Pinlack? What nationality is that? Uh, families from the Philippines. Ah, you know, they're, they're getting into this space. A lot of the Asians are there. <laughs> are you going to send some dogs over there? Uh, I don't know. Um, I would like to, to get some dogs out internationally. Yeah, that'll be that. Now, that'll be the thing. We, we've been, man, y'all been begging for years. Can I please get a dog? I told you I'm not shipping. Maybe he will. <laughs> Darnell here, man. He's got uh, big dreams, high hopes, and some goals, which are most important. Uh, he could potentially be, realistically, the first person a part of the Fit Bully Associates and Family Program. Um, have you ever had kennel partners before, my friend? I have not. Okay. Well, I'm going to tell you one of the things, back to Sergio, and everybody says, never do it. So this is my way of doing it. <laughs> <laughs> to a degree, but also saying, hey, after, you know, the first things are done on our end and you know as you hopefully been doing taking care of the dog it's good now i'm also telling you a secret how important do you think puppy contracts and stuff are in the dog space um i mean i think they're important but my experience with paperwork and contracts is that if someone's dead set on not following it <laughs> they're not going to <laughs> So I like that he knows that this is a this is a businessman. As a matter of fact, go ahead and tell him the name of your business out in Florida, right? Yeah, the name of my business in Florida is uh, Real Pro Dance Promotions or Real Pro Events and Entertainment. So they can come check you out down there if they're down that way. Oh yeah. What part of Florida again? Uh, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay. So you're down in the Tampa area. Yeah. People, I checked this stuff out, man. He's got some bachata and and uh, salsa. Salsa and what Afro else? Afrobeats. Oh, that's the one that they're sleeping on right now. <laughs> That's yeah. the one that's going to creep up and take over, man. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, 90s R&B when I listen to that music, man. That's what I listen to when I'm not Oh, salsa look, see, I'm... he's a man of my own heart. And I ain't even know it, man. <laughs> Y'all know I'm an R&B head. Um, tell him a little yeah. bit about how you found us and what you were looking for on your path to getting the right bully. And he's got a couple bullies in the car, but what are some things that you look for when you, you know, as you start your, your, your journey with this thing, man? Yeah, so kind of the first question on how I found you guys. Obviously, you have a pretty good following on YouTube so um, a lot of the knowledge that you guys are putting out there um, has been obviously very informative you obviously look like you know what you're doing <laughs> it looks, <laughs> looks can be deceiving but so are people right yeah so I mean I think I think reaching out to you and and getting involved with your program I think the value is um, getting that mentorship yeah at the same time as also getting a, a good dog, right? Yeah, 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 to, yeah, to start yeah. off right, right? And I think, you know, if you start any kind of business, um, kind of getting that accelerator, right? If somebody already <laughs> has a following, Man. right? To, Tell them a little bit about that, though. I don't mean to cut you off, but some people think it's, it's a smart thing to do. It's like, man, I got it out the mud. I said, I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> the mud's kind of dirty and you're a businessman, so you know how advantageous it could be to have someone who has distribution and, yeah. and marketing and Yep. All the stuff that costs a lot of money if you don't have it to start with, you know? Yeah. I mean, um, I think for me, my age being, you know, mid-40s, um, you know, having an accelerant to get you to where you need to be in a short amount of time is yeah. is definitely valuable. Um, especially if you don't know social media, if you don't know marketing, all those things, you can learn that from someone that's already done it. They already know what's worked and what hasn't, and then you can piggyback on it, right? Yeah. Um, there's a lot of competition in the space too, right? So man. You, you have to separate yourself. I, you know, that's the thing though. It, I kind of, so yeah. and someone say, hey man, who's your competition? I'm like, I don't know. Because <laughs> they're, yeah. they're competing about dogs. I'm competing with life. Yeah. And what I do love is, you know, things we've discussed already. You being a family man, 
um, having a career, understand yeah. the importance of paying bills, yep. taking care of the children, the house, the, the yeah. everything. So you go, ah, the dogs are going to be dogs. Um, and people, just like yourself, are going to either like what you're doing or hate it. Yeah. But if I weigh my, my, my dogs to the next man, I, I will always be in conflict, in my opinion, at least. Yeah, yeah. It's more about the options, right? It's not like you're directly competing with someone yeah. else. It's more about what, what are the what are the best options out there. If I'm if I'm looking for a great dog, you know, with a great line, you know, mm-hmm. who are you going to go with, right? Who's knowledgeable? Who can who can you go to after you get the dog from them, right? <laughs> and that's the worst part, people. Yeah. You, I, you know, it's like this. I feel like I'm in church because people hit me like, "Hey, man, I got this dog." I'm like. I had nothing to do with that dog. So I, I, if I didn't do it, then I didn't do it. So yeah, exactly. I can't tell you about a dog that I didn't breed. Yeah. Um, so I, I don't have the information, but that's important too because yeah. there will be, believe it or not, in business there's always kinds of, all kinds of problems. Exactly. And then you turn around even worse, if you can't call the person, you know there's a lot of people who sell people dogs and block them. What'd you do? Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> you didn't know that, did you? I have not, I have not experienced that, <laughs> but <laughs> hopefully it doesn't happen this time. <laughs> <laughs> Heck no, no, I'm not. I'm not going where I'm, I'm one of those. I'm too visible to go invisible. Yeah. And I like what I, you know, believe it or not, I like conflict. So I don't, I don't really, and, and not conflict in the way where I'm looking for it, but like if someone has a problem, let's let's discuss it like men, and have that discussion so we can move forward. Otherwise, you know, nothing grows. But people like that avoid it or having those rough conversations. It's like, yeah. Man, let's let's talk so we can grow, or, or you won't get the hell on point yeah. blank. Well, as I said before, he's one of the first people who um, is interested in buying into the program on the other side. Uh, I love that he has a vision, and I'd love to assist in that vision. Uh, and part of that vision is him having, you said, one of the best kennels in the world, right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, look, I love it. I love that we have different goals and, yeah. and that I could add value from a yeah. dog standpoint to your goal yeah. and try to minimize the amount of mistakes and financial mistakes you might make yeah. going through your process. Because believe it or not, I know a lot of them hurting, bro. Yeah. I mean, I know some of the best breeders having to repossess dogs. People saying, I'm out of the dog game, come get this dog. Most yeah. people get in thinking it's like lucrative, yeah. and it's yeah. not. Yeah. It's yeah. not. It is a passion play. So why is it that you're so passionate about dogs then? Yeah, so um, when I was a kid, I, I took care of a, a dog my parents got me. Yeah. Um, so it was something that, that I really enjoyed. My high school sweetheart also got me a, a dachshund. Uh, <laughs> Weenie dog, huh? Yeah, and uh, she, she lived her, her full life uh, with us. Um, but I also had a, a pit before uh, my daughters were born. Yeah. And that dog was like my best friend. We would work out together. We would run, all that kind of stuff. And just um, just really enjoyed. Probably my, the best dog I ever, I ever had. Um, and then now that... I'm kind of almost semi semi retiring from the IT cybersecurity game. Um, you know, just kind of looking at around the, the different things that I that I love to do. Yeah. Um, and one of the things I, I love to do is I love to architect and build things. And you know, I do have a couple dogs. Yeah. So um, I do want to kind of you know build a line that has uh, some of the some of the great features, especially kind of getting rid of some of the, the health things that I've seen and yeah. some of the some of the I know every dog's got some kind of defect but try, try to try to build a, a really good line you know um, but I'm getting into this because uh, one I've got some some partners that train service dogs so um, so I'm kind of talking about that to, to get service dogs to veterans um, and I do have some charitable organizations that I'll be working with uh, with my kennel as well so that right there is good stuff i love that i love that part of it too i've been asked many times could your dogs do work or could they do something with the veterans and um you know i said well listen i wouldn't necessarily go service route but i think if they are service-based people meaning they love taking care of things i think there's an angle to work there yeah because i'll give them that whole plan and process and just in being active getting out in front of the sun walking the dog a dog they can walk yeah yeah and yeah. you know, looks semi impressive. You go, there's something there. We got to figure it out too. So I love that you're going there because that might be an angle I can continue to work with because I got access to a lot of veterans yeah. here in Texas. Um, I know right. you're from Tampa, but yeah, yeah, that could be some good synergy, man. Yeah. Well, for one, I appreciate you considering us for two. Thanks for jumping on camera. Yeah. <laughs>
Oh, there's a camera. Ah, exactly. <laughs> that part right there. I love that you have business background people. I told you it wasn't necessarily always about the age thing, but more so people who have vision and are clear and who aren't desperate to like pay their bills with dogs. Like, and not the hype either. You know, the hype is the thing that kills because people, oh, I got to eat. Like, uh, I got more problems than all y'all with these dogs. So, so, and I'm working through them. So stay tuned, people, because we're going to finish this one out here in a second. Super you smell. Go ahead and shut the door. <laughs> Who's who? So that's Ego. Okay. <laughs> that's his mama. So a mirror lives with Stan, but we'll go outside back here so you can see Cha Cha in the light. Let's go. Cha cha, get down. They're not gonna do no G, man. Yeah. Sorry, back up. Look at you. She's, she's, she's. That's excited. Yeah. So, yeah, man. Cha cha's breeding, I think it'd be a good one. <laughs> And that's her mama too. Which one? This one? Yep, Zara. Oh, are they going to the pool? Oh, they swim for hours, man. <laughs> They're losing their shit. They think something's in there. This time of day, this is when they start doing all their work and playing. So that's why they're so charged up. 